by Harvin Hughes and Associated Press slash report for America Madison, Wisconsin, a top Milwaukee elections official has been fired after sending falsely obtained military absentee ballots to the home of a Republican state lawmaker who has been an outspoken critic of how the 2020 election was administered, the C. Kimberly Zapata, deputy director of the Milwaukee Election Commission, requested military ballots for fictitious voters from clerks in nearby municipalities using the state's My Vote Wisconsin website, Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson said just days before the midterm election. This has every appear. As part of her job, Zapata oversaw the counting of absentee ballots in Milwaukee. The mayor said the city is investigating whether she might have committed any other offenses. The ballots were sent to the home of Republican State Representative Donnell Branchon, who chairs the Assembly Elections Committee and has voiced support for overturning the results of the 2020 presidential election in the state and promoted conspiracy theories about the same. Earlier this week, Branchon's office said she had received three ballots for military voters she believed to be fictitious. Branchon said then she thought someone was trying to show how easy it is to get military ballots in Wisconsin. The announcement comes five days ahead of Election Day in a cycle where officials are increasingly concerned about threats from within their own organizations. In battleground states such as Wisconsin, elections officials are seeing record partisan poll worker nominations that could put skeptics on the front lines of the voting process. Zapata's motive for allegedly obtaining and sending the ballots wasn't immediately clear. She did not immediately respond to messages left Thursday at phone numbers believed to be hers. Michael Mace Tellman an attorney for Zapata, declined to comment. But her boss, Commission Executive Director Claire Wood Alvog, said she thought Zapata was intent on illustrating a vulnerability in the system. She said Zapata had, to her knowledge, never before violated work policies or procedures. Zapata's alleged actions echo those of a Racine man who requested and received absentee ballots in the names of lawmakers and local officials in July. That man, Harry Waite, said he wanted to expose vulnerabilities in the state's elections system. He has been charged with two misdemeanor counts of election fraud and two felony counts of identity theft, charges that could land him in prison for up to 13 years. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm said his office was reviewing allegations against Zapata and that he expects charges to be filed in the coming days.